Hi guys from Bavaria, Germany. I am on a bike tour here in the Bavarian Alps and uh, I want to tell you about sports and billionaires. What role do sports play in billionaires' lives? What is the attitude to sports? Will sports help you to achieve great success in business? And if so, why? As you know, I have interviewed over 2,000 billionaires around the world. And what I have noticed is that for the billionaires in the Western culture, sports play a big role in the youth. Billionaires in the Eastern cultures, they were occupied with the sports of survival. Their aim was just to survive and to help uh, their families to survive. But in the Western culture, all of the, of the people, they, were, they had either professional sports careers in the youth, or they were extremely active and competitive in sports. What was so attractive about sports for the billionaires? Billionaires love competition. They want to compete and they always want to win. That's why they were attracted to sports in their early lives already. This is a virtual circle. Billionaires were attracted to sports in their early lives, in their childhood, in their youth, because they wanted to improve the, themselves. They wanted to compete and ultimately they wanted to win. And then sports formed their personalities so that they were able to achieve such an extraordinarily outrageous success in business in their later lives. And you can also use sports in your life to help you achieve unbelievable success. What kind of sports did billionaires perform in the, uh, in the youth? All kinds of sports. Team sports, like all ball sports, like basketball, like football, American football, like soccer, like volleyball, but also single sports like tennis, like swimming, like squash, like rowing. Now let's analyze what they learned in the sports and how sports helped to form the personality in order for them to achieve such an extraordinary success. First of all, sports teaches you to compete, to compete with other people and not only uh, teaches you how to compete, but to be willing to compete, to be willing to test yourself and uh, to perform against others with a high risk of failure, with a high probability that you will lose. Because when you participate in sports, it, it is not very probable that you will win this race or this competition. But of course, you can skew the probability in your favor but generally, you take a great risk of not winning that, of, of failure, of losing. So that's why sports teaches you how to win and also how to lose, how to fail. And sports teaches you to energize yourself through victories, how to be victorious, how to win. But also when you lose, it teaches you to be humble in failure and to learn from your failures and to improve yourself. So this is the first thing. Another thing, there is hardly anything compared to sport that teaches you how to be sincere to yourself. You can fool other people for some time and you can fool yourself also for some, some time, but you certainly can't fool yourself all the time. And sport teaches you to be truthful and to be sincere to yourself because you can't fool your results. You see your results and, and you know where the results come from, from the preparation, right? So the third thing that sports teaches you is the discipline. It teaches you character and of course, persistence. To regularly train, to be very persistent in following your objectives and in reaching your goals. And if you fail, you get up and you train more until you reach your goals right and there is also some subtle 
learnings from team sports. What I noticed among video learners, they usually were captains of the teams. So they learned to lead in sports. It teaches you how to form a great team, how to motivate your team, how to be a team player and how to make your team go in one direction and achieve success, right? So it teaches you leadership. And the last thing about sports is when billionaires become older, they of course stay with sports, but they don't maybe don't compete or don't, uh, they, they are not professional anymore in sports. Of course, their main focus is, is business, but they get up early, they go for jogging or any other uh, cardio training. Most of them jog a lot. Uh, and then maybe twice, three times a week, they do a workout in order to sustain their body substance because they realize they need to be healthy in order to perform, right? So they want to sustain their fitness level as long as possible. And they are really careful about that. So sports gives you also healthy body, fitness, in order to be able to perform better in everyday life, just to, uh, to be more effective, to be more productive in what you do, to think faster and to perform longer. And of course, it keeps you in shape. So you also are um, more presentable, more attractive. Sports also make you believe in yourself and just give you more self-respect. If you find that information, that knowledge valuable, please share it with your friends, with your loved ones. Here below the video you have the sharing links. And if you want to learn more about how billionaires think, how they achieve, what they achieve, the extraordinary successes in business and life, subscribe here. And here you will find one of my best videos. That's it. Thank you and see you from Rupolding in German Alps.